Hey guys, so welcome to another Hackintosh video. In this video, I will show you how to install macOS Mojave on your personal computer. So before we start, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for new videos. There are two different ways to create a bootable USB for macOS Mojave installation. You can either use Unibeast or you can use terminal commands to create a bootable USB. I have already downloaded macOS Mojave installer from the App Store. It will appear in the application folder of your system. Unibeast can be downloaded from Tony Mac's website. I have already downloaded Unibeast. So let's extract it and then I will open Unibeast. Now click continue. Click continue again and click continue once more. Click agree. Now plug in your flash drive which should be more than 16 GB and click on rescan. If Unibeast is unable to detect your USB drive, make sure to format it using macOS extended journal and GUID partition map. So let's format the USB drive first. I will name it as install macOS Mojave. In format I will select macOS extended journal and in scheme I will select GUID partition map. Now click erase. After the erase process is complete, close the disk utility and in Unibeast click on rescan. Now it will detect your USB. Click continue, select macOS Mojave, click continue again and you can select either UEFI boot mode or legacy mode mode. I will select UEFI boot mode here and then I will click continue. In graphics option, I am not using any NVIDIA or ATI graphic card. So I will just leave these checkboxes unchecked. Click continue. Click continue again. Enter your password and it will start creating the bootable USB. Wait for around 20 minutes. When the installation process is complete, click on quit, then open EFI partition created by Unibeast. Open the config file in Clover. Now in SMBIOS settings, select SMBIOS depending on your processor. So I will use iMac 14.2 here as only iMac 14.2 works with Intel Core i7-8700K. You can select some different options depending on your processor. For Intel Skylake processors, select iMac 17.1 and for Haswell and Ivy Bridge processors, select iMac 14.2. If you have NVIDIA GPU, click on Inject NVIDIA and if you have ATI GPU, click on Inject ATI. I am using Intel so I will only click on Inject Intel. For Intel graphics, you have to use fake IDs. Intel Core i7-8700K has Intel UHD 630 graphics which have native support in macOS Mojave. Now save the config file and exit Clover. Make sure to copy all the add-on files in USB drive. You can also copy your previous working config file in your USB drive. Now eject your flash drive and reboot your system. Now press delete to enter in BIOS settings. In BIOS settings turn on advanced options. If you are installing macOS for the first time, restore defaults in BIOS. Then in processor options, disable Intel VTD tag. 
and also disable CFG lock. Now save BIOS settings and reboot your system. Now press F8 to boot from USB drive and after loading the Clover screen, select install macOS Mojave from the Clover screen and it will start the installation process. Now wait around 20 minutes. Your system will restart several times. Make sure to boot from USB every time your system restarts. You can also set boot priority to USB drive or flash drive from the BIOS options. Now select your language and click continue. Now go to disk utility and format your hard drive or SSD using APFS format. After the formatting is complete, close the disk utility. Now click on install macOS Mojave and select your SSD. Now wait for the installation process to complete. It will take around 20 minutes and your system will restart several times. When the installation is completed, your system will boot into macOS Mojave and you can select your country and you can add your username. Create your password and click on continue. You can select from two different modes, dark mode or light mode. Let me know in the comments which one is better. Now wait for the setup to complete. It will take you to the desktop. 
So macOS Mojave have some new features. You can pick a dynamic background and you can switch between dark and light modes. There are some more features in macOS Mojave. You can watch my other video for these features. In the post processing, you have to copy the EFI folder that you copy to your flash drive to the EFI folder of your SSD. So first of all, I will download Clover and I will install Clover to the SSD drive. You can select from legacy or UFI boot modes. So I will select UFI boot here. Then click on install. Wait for few minutes. Clover installation will create a separate EFI partition for your SSD. Make sure to copy all the config files from your USB drive to your SSD. These files are essential to boot into macOS Mojave without a USB drive. For wireless internet connectivity, I am using TP-Link WN725N adapter. I will just install its drivers and it will start working in macOS Mojave. On the very first reboot, the loading was very slow and I got a magenta display on my BenQ monitor. I fixed it by removing some extra boot flags from config file. And then I got magenta tint in the screen. Everything was working, graphic acceleration was working. So we have to force RGB mode for our monitor in this case. It's a very simple process. Just download the EDID file from the link in description. Now open terminal. Type ruby in command and then drag your EDID file to terminal. Press enter and it will create a folder in your home directory. Now move towards home directory and copy the display vendor file to the overrides folders of your system. So I will just navigate to display and overrides folders and I will paste that file there. Enter your password and after copying the file restart your computer and it will fix this issue. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.